what you need to do. So once you're in your Prezi, you're going to make sure it's saved, and you're going to click Exit. When I click the Exit button, what it's going to do is it's going to take me to the screen. Your presentations are going to be private, so you're going to have to click this button and make sure that Public is selected. Once Public is selected, here's what you're going to do. Now you need to download a copy and save the link. First of all, let me show you how to save the link. You're going to click this View Together button, and you're going to take this link right here. You're going to right-click on it, copy, and paste it in the Blackboard. Now, to download the presentation, you're going to select Download. Make sure Export is selected. Click Download. It's going to take a couple seconds, and it's going to actually create a file for you, a packaged file. There are two things you can do. One is I'm going to click this link to download. It's going to say, it's going to create this file for me. I'm going to open it up. Now, what I need to do is I can either take this zip file and I can just save that to Blackboard. That's the easiest thing to do. Or you can unzip it and recompress it and submit that file. So, right now, here is the file that I would submit to Blackboard. Or, if I take this file, I'll drag it on my desktop to show you guys how to compress. So here's the file I want to submit. I'm going to right click on it, go to compress. For those that have Windows, you're going to go to send to, then compress. So it's just when you right click, you'll go to send to and then compress. Max, you just simply click compress. And look, it's going to create this file called a zip file. This is the file you're going to submit in Blackboard. This is how you would submit any file that's a folder that you want to submit multiple files as an email attachment as well. But that, that's how you compress the file. Alright, that's how you do it.